Hey, how is it going everyone? This is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today we're waiting for our Round 3 Siege Battle Tournament to start. We will be facing Saigon FC as well. So I don't know whether we can win them because we haven't really uh, matched up with them for a long time. But in the previous matches that we faced each other, they were always ahead. So definitely gonna be a tough one. I will try our best, but yeah, I hope I can just maintain my win rate. Let's skim through the defenses here. Coming out from Tower 12 first. So we are seeing some Kiki Sylvia's with a lot of Nana Byeongchul's as well for the Tower 4. Mixture of Net Force there. Mainly the Clara Asher Vitras. A full Tower of Odin over here. Dark Siri Asher X units at the end. And last but not least, Naftis, Kiki, Naftis, Narsha. For our first match of the day, we are going to be starting off with the Dark Siri, Asher, and Vitra. I'll be utilizing this team here mainly because Joel Tan is going to be soaking up the Asher's damage. Shaman's passive makes it so that the Vitra and Dark Siri is going to be hitting a lot lesser as well. And with the special assault extra damage, I think if my Joel Tan can land the armor break into that second skill, we should be able to bring down something really quickly. So Mundas actually stunning up two of my units here with slow debuff. We're gonna cleanse everything away. Can we land the armor break, please? One drop. Nice. Come on. <laughs> Jotan and Shaman combo over there. Yeah, Vicha just got one shotted. Now the damage output from their corner isn't really the best because at the end of the day, this team doesn't really have armor breaks, right? So slowly but surely, as long as we do not get stunned up left and right by this Dark Siri, I think we should be good. So our Jotan actually taking a lot of damage here. Bro, okay, nice proc. Confirm kill. Yep, we can heal up our Jotan now. Okay, good heal block landed. We just need to keep landing the heal blocks onto the Asher's face so that he doesn't heal up. And then with this special assault, able to secure the kill. Moving onwards, we are going to be bringing in the Covenant, Faleria, and Cha-Cha over here. So this one, we always just snipe off the Vitra first because that's the main threat. I do not want to deal with the threat state. The Clara's armor break probably just lands onto either my Faleria or the Cha-Cha because our Covenant is water, right? And that is the only armor breaker on his end. So looking good so far. We are able to send everything away here. Alright, we got a stun off onto the Vitra. We are just gonna use the attack attack there as well to steal the buff. Alright. And our Covenant will be following up with the third skill real soon. The headshot. Come on, can we one shot this guy? Nice, 52k Vitra goes down. Perfect. Now all we need to do is to turn cycle, wait for our skills to come back online. We kill off the Clara, leaving the Asher last. Bro, for some reason I forgot to record this one, so I'm just gonna show you the replay. <laughs> the Fingyan Bellagio and Alia team against this very flashy Liliana Moore and the Beezlebub, right? So this one, Beezlebub actually went for the Madness Judgment at the start, so... I think it only makes sense to just kill him off twice. Yeah, and it's so squishy as well. So when he went down here, we just kill slowly kill off the Liliana. And then when the Beezlebub comes back alive, as long as he doesn't violent proc, we kill him again. The passive is gone. And he will never revive after that. So that was my thought process here. So once we brought down this Liniana, the Beezlebub is gonna wake up. Alright, we even got the additional turn actually, so yeah, kind of forgot. <laughs> and then from here on out, there's nothing the more can do. Uh, Fingyan eats that unit all day long. We have to fight this Clara, Asher, and Vitra again, so we'll use the same lineup. Let's see here, Asher goes for the buff. Alright. This time, only stun onto my Cha-Cha. Ooh, that Vitra stunned my Faleria though. Huh? Hey, why Asher in Covenant? We got Cha-Cha in the field. <sighs> hey. 
hey, our covenant was at 75% to 80% health, right? Bro, I watched the replay non-stop. I don't understand why that Asher actually aimed my covenant. Cha-Cha should be stealing the aggro, right? <laughs> man, I feel like I got robbed in that fight. What the fuck, man? Bro, it's not like my covenant was like below 50% health. If yes, then I understand. Both units had two debuffs as well. I, I don't know, I don't understand. Okay, now mind, let's focus on this one. Okay. This team always works against this kind of Jasmine Dark Siri lineup. But yeah, damn it, man. We already lost one. Shit. Okay, come on. We all in onto the Siri. I don't care. I am just gonna be putting this attack attack onto her face as well. Just to make sure she doesn't go crazy. Uh, we can just normal attack here. Do as much poke damage as we can. Dark Siri goes down. Perfect. Now we control the Asher. Because later on, we can go for the immunity here. Hopefully, the Jasmine uses the skill later as well. So, I believe next turn, she does have the third skill up. Come on. Alright, Asher goes down. Now, we can just go for the cleanse. Okay, calculated to perfection. Can press the auto button from here on out. Now, we need to fight this Ponto Sigrid and the Odin. So, a very flashy lineup. Kakano, Triana, and Huadam kind of makes sense because Kakano's damage goes through invincibility. Uh, we got heals, we got protection from the Triana and Huadam. We have everything on damage reduction from win as well. Alright, let's start. Come on. We need to bounce back from that loss earlier. Try to win as many as we can. Okay, this Odin now 5 stacks. Alright, nice. At least aims my Triana there. Just go for the hidden aim. Okay, we need to kill off this Odin ASAP. Before he goes crazy, right? Okay, so armor break lands now. First life down. Bro, if only we violent proc once. But we'll take this stun onto the Pontos. Yeah, let's just finish off this Odin. Now, do they have the damage output? I don't think so. Because every time my Covenant goes for the Hidden Aim, we are able to dish out so much damage. Let's go! 46k onto the Sigrid. And even if Pontos uses the third skill now, I don't really care. Our Kakano's damage bypass that. So he goes for the silence, doesn't really matter. We can't land the armor break, but it doesn't matter. That unit goes down. I saw a lot of my guild mates using this team against the Sylvia Kumar and the Brita. So let's just run the same lineup as well. So far, they all 100% win rate because they do have a lot of all this defense. I think at least three of it or maybe more. So let's see here. The Sylvia definitely moving first. Oblivion straight away landed onto Wow. Yo, shit, we can't cleanse? Huh, we got silence up, we got Oblivion. <laughs> Man, that ain't good. Oh, nice violent, nice violent. We'll take it. Come on. Bro, he lands armor brick so easily onto my finger. Hey, hey, not cool, man. Bro, Fingen. He gets the violin. Huh, my Fingen actually died so easily. Hey, Kuma, stop. Oh, we need to kill off this Brita. Aim the Alia, man. Yo, don't aim my man on. Why the AI is so smart? Yeah, stun. Good. Come on. Bro, what the fuck, man? Hey, this Brita, no joke. Shit, do we have the skill? Alright, we can cleanse. Man, we need to kill. Shit, no passive. No passive proc. Hey, we need to parry more, man. Yo, but he keeps on aiming my man on as well. We can't parry. 
bro. Aim back the Alia, man. Oh, this ain't good. Imagine we landed the armor break. The Brita is dead. Alia, I need you to violent more. Bro, that's not enough, man. Shit. Come on, come on. Wow, the stun. Into the Brita on despair. Yo. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Wow, shit, man. We lost again. Oh my god, we are playing like shit. <laughs> Two losses already, man. Ah, uh, I still feel like I got robbed in the Clara Vitra fight. Then I shouldn't follow guild mates. Offense, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll just focus on this one. So, Galnir, Odin, and Adriana. Once again, these kind of lineups mainly revolving around the Odin as the only damage dealer. So, once we bring him down twice, what is gonna be killing on their side? The Galnir and the Adriana, no damage, right? So, we already brought down the first life of this Odin. Come on, Byongchol. Do your procs. Useless, man. Every time I bring this unit in for offense, doesn't do shit. On defense, yeah, every time two, three turns. Come on. Okay, we just normal attack here. We don't need to heal yet. Okay, finally popping off. That's all I need. I think with the capture, we should be able to kill. Oh, very close. Come on. Pyongcho. Bonk is coming. So the Odin does not have any revive already, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, this one is definitely in the bag. It's just gonna take some time to kill off the Gelnir and the Adriana. But we do have destroy runes on the Byongchol. So we are all Gucci. My guildmates say this Dongbik team kind of works. So we are gonna use it as well. Everything 100% resistance. Let's go. Come on. Bro. Wow, they landed every single debuff. 10k per hit? Bro. <laughs> hey. Yo, what the fuck, man? Hundred percent resistance like we are shit. We couldn't even resist a single debuff. Bro, I feel like my RNG in this matchup is so fucking bad. I'm not even confident using this Elajo Leo team. <laughs> but I got no choice. This is my last sword. I need to bring in my safest lineup. I guess I go ahead with it. Yeah, we have damage reduction from win on our Elajo and Leo. Just double checking it True, Dinah is there to do the damage. Can we stun the Craig? Come on, Dinah. Please. I don't think we transform. We try to stun. Did not get it. So we can see it's on Nemesis. This Chandra stun up my Dinah instead. Bro. Alright, I'll take that. I think we can start working onto the Chandra. Yeah, no choice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yo. Oh, man. We need to stun. Okay, we got it. He kills off my Ella drill. Bro. Oh, no bullshit. We have to work onto the Odin now. <laughs> Come on, strip. Please strip. Please strip everything. I'll take that. Come on, stun the Odin. I didn't want to kill. I wanted the dots to kill it off. Shit, man. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, 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 wait. We kill Odin. We all in. Oh god, thank fucking god we won this. <laughs> Man, I did not expect my Elajor to die. One shot. Bro, minus 20 and he still ignore 50k. What the hell rune set is that? Rage? <laughs> I don't think Violent you're even able to achieve that. Did I see him Violent proc? I am not sure as well. So yeah, it could be on Rage, you know? So this time, I think from here on out, the Craig stands no chance. Man, we only got 7 wins out of 10.
The siege battle has finally ended and we got 254 crystals followed by 492 guild points. This is the end of the road for us in Season 15 Siege Battle Tournament. Congratulations to Saigon. Yeah, I, I think in terms of the loss rate, it was 23 on the end. We lost 36. Yeah, pretty big gap. <laughs> and also... One thing to note here, good loss to lazy time. Wow, actually, man, I didn't expect that. And then, um, VRK Gangster moving onwards as well as Candy House. So we'll be able to open up this rubbish box here. What can we get? One mystical scroll for our trash effort in this round three. <laughs> Man, I still feel like I could have done a lot better with the monsters that I still had. I shouldn't melee, man. I don't know. I felt like that melee team didn't do anything whatsoever. We couldn't even stand a chance to win. Yeah, on turn 1, everything resetted. Armor broken. Like, like we are shit. No resistance. So once again, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Take care, stay safe, my friends. I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace out.